You don't even need a fishing rod to catch this great rainbow trout and mount it on a plaque to display in your home. Here's what you'll need. We start out with a wood plaque. We have construction paper in black and yellow, some colored pencils. We're using a paintbrush. We're using a glitter glue. And then our basics. We have a regular clear glue, scissors, and a black marker. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is prepare our plaque. And to do that, I'm going to use my brush pen. What I've done is I've already unscrewed the cap here and taken off the lid and then screwed this back on. Then when I squeeze the brush, you can see the paint is coming right out through the center so there's no mess. I'm going to start applying the paint to my wood plaque. And you want to get a nice thick coat. And you'll go and continue across the entire plaque. And you want to protect your work surface too. I'll keep painting, then I'll come back in, do the edges of my wood plaque, and keep blending my color until I get a nice, even coat. Now I've got one that I've got all ready to go, so I'll move this one to the side. And this one is right here, I've got it painted blue. And as you can see, I've added a fish shape. And the fish shape is this pattern, which you'll be able to find on the website. I've then cut that out, out of just a piece of scrap paper, and I'm going to glue that down. Let's glue that the right way so that his fins are facing right. And I'm going to take my clear glue, apply it to the back, and then press it down into my wood plaque. Now this is going to be the base shape, and it's really going to be covered, and we're not even going to see that white paper, but it's a nice guide for us to go to make our shape. Now the next thing we want to do is to take our colored paper. And I've got black and yellow because that's the color of the fish I chose. You might want to research different fish and what colors they are, especially freshwater fish that you might be actually catching in your area. Then I'm going to just tear the pieces and I want that rough edge. So I'll continue tearing the black and the yellow until I have a whole stack of paper because we're going to use a lot. Now this is where the whole pattern of the fish comes into play because you want to use, you want it to be as realistic as possible. So I'm going to take my fish and I'm going to start layering my pieces. Now to do that, to make it a little bit easier, I've squeezed some glue into a paper plate and I have just an old sponge brush. You could use a scrap of paper or you could even use your uh, glue top and just use that to apply your glue. I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to one section and I'm going to start here with the top of the fish. And it's okay if you get glue onto the wood because it's all going to be covered. And I'm going to start layering my pieces. Now when I layer my piece down, I want to go up to the edge and then I'll put a second coat of glue right on top of it. Then I will continue along the top. And this is kind of forming a mosaic. So I'm going to follow along until I get the perfect design. So I'm going to have the black here. I'm going to have a little yellow section here and then a black along there. What I found is that if you take and cover one color on first and then layer another layer on top, it's, it's easy because you can make as many layers as you need because this is a mosaic shape. So we'll continue layering the pieces of paper. I'm going to keep going along the entire fish and I'm going to keep putting another little coat of glue on top. Now the one thing we want to be sure is that we want to cover the entire white surface. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to need another little piece here because we don't want any white to show. It's also going to be just a little bit irregularly shaped at the edge. Let's get another little piece at the tip and this will take some time until you cover the entire shape. Let's get that last one down. Okay, now I'm going to put that yellow section in and I kind of need a small piece. And as I said, this isn't very exact. So you're going to go right along the middle. Again, we're putting, so it's almost like a decoupage technique and we're going to keep building the fish. I'll keep adding a little bit of glue and coming back until I've covered the entire fish. Now let I have one here that I've covered the entire fish. And you can see I've got paper all along. Now you can see sometimes the glue is showing, sometimes it doesn't. 
And that's okay because we're going to put other glue on the surface as well. Now the next thing I want to do is add some detail to this fish so that he has scales. So I'm going to use my light colored pencils to add that detail. And I'm using a very soft pencil so that I can color over my paper. So I'm going to grow, go in and add my scales and keep going along the entire fish. I'll add scales here. I can add more onto the tail. They'll be different sizes. And I'm using my kind of yellow gold pencil on the dark colors. And then I'm going to go to a little bit deeper orange color on the yellow pieces. And this is just adding a little bit of detail. These are very, very soft pencils. So I'm getting a lot of dark, deep, rich color on them. I'll continue all the way across. Now I can also add some definition here, mark the fin. If I want to define any colors here, even if I wanted to add a touch of orange on the bottom, I could. And that'll color right over the glue. We can blend the colors in, so I could add the yellow and orange together. And you're getting a nice, rich color. The last thing I want to do is also add some features here so that there will be an eye on the fish. And I'm just taking my black marker until I get all of the details I want. So I can add a little bit more here. Let's add some here. Go back in with the orange. And then also the light blue on the black. Again, I'm blending in over those same pencils. All the scales will overlap until I've got the fish exactly how I'd like him. I'm going to go back here on this yellow, too. I just want to get a little bit more detail here. Now, if you look along here, too, this is not smooth. There's a little bit of a jagged edge, and that's okay because that's what you'd like. Now the next thing is, is I want to kind of decoupage this as a whole surface. There's a couple different ways you can do that. We could add glue onto the surface, a clear glue. But what I've chosen to do is add a little bit of glitter because I want it to look like the water and the shimmer of the water. Now don't be afraid when you add this on because it's going to look like it's so thick on top. But I'm going to put this right on top of my entire surface and on the blue. Another thing you might want to do is even add some waves into the blue with some darker color with your colored pencils. And if you go to this one here, you can see I've added even more detail and more striping. Same thing, when I add that glue on top, you can see what a nice effect that gives to the entire piece. It actually looks like it's in the water. Now, if we go back to the finished fish, you can see that wonderful luminescent effect. It'll look great on your wall.